Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with VFD Distributing at vfddistributing.com. Today I'm going to discuss the SM Vector Series NEMA 1 Variable Frequency Drive. Now we've worked with these drives for quite a while now. I think we're going on about five years. We're very happy with the product. Now we do all types of industrial solutions, including uh, creating automation systems, building panels. So we've worked ex extensively with these drives and uh, since we're a repair shop, we've worked with other people's drives as well. Now uh, what we like in particular is these are manufactured in America. They are built in Uxbridge, Massachusetts, and uh, AC Tech is very good about keeping a cost-effective solution for uh, with good quality, innovation, uh, simplicity, and performance. Uh, first, I'm going to go over all the features of it. I'm going to do that real quick because I don't want to too, waste too much of your time. Um, now, it's it's got world class. Now, the modes of operation available on the SM Vector Series drive are open loop flux vector speed or torque control, volts per hertz mode, or enhanced volts per hertz mode with auto tuning. Uh, the acceleration and deceleration profile is available. Uh, it offers two independent XL ramps and two independent decel ramps. There's also linear acceleration, S-type acceleration, and you can also do auxiliary ramp to stop. The output frequency allowed on this uh, is 500 hertz standard, but of course you can do the 1000 hertz as optional. For universal logic assertion, uh, it's got positive logic inputs and negative logic inputs. Uh, the braking functions allowed are DC injection braking and optional regenerative braking. Uh, speed commands, of course, include the uh, keypad itself. You can do a jog, you can do floating point control, voltage scalable, 0 to 10 volts DC. Uh, the current is scalable from 40 to 20 milliamps, so if you want to do a potentiometer, you can do potentiometer inputs. And it also allows you to have up to eight preset speeds. Of course, with process control, it has PID mode, which uh, is direct and reverse acting, and uh, you can also do PID sleep mode. One thing also with the SM Vector that we really like is it does have great system protection. It has a low DC bus voltage protection. It's got high DC bus voltage protection. It also has low line voltage compensation. For current monitoring, it allows you to do motor overload protection, current limiting safeguard, phase loss protection, ground faults, and short circuit protection. And of course, there's also loss of following. So uh, it also has a default and uh, it'll go to a preset speed or preset set point and uh, it'll initiate a system notification if you have to do that. And of course it also has over temperature protection. What a lot of people also don't really know about the SM Vector Series drive is it does have real-time monitoring. It has eight register fault history, which means it, it keeps eight faults in its register history. Uh, it's got the software version, drive network ID. It does DC bus voltage monitoring, motor voltage monitoring, output current, motor current, motor torque, power, energy consumption, heat sink temperature, 0 to 10 volt DC input, 4 to 20 milliamp input, PID feedback, analog output, network speed, con uh, terminal continuity, keypad status, elapsed runtime, elapsed power on time. I mean, it, it goes on and on. The list list is quite long, actually. Now, this is a NEMA 1 standard, which means that it, has, it supports an ambient temperature of negative 10 to 55 degrees Celsius at 6 kilohertz, and you want to derate the drive 2.5% per degree Celsius above 40 degrees Celsius. Of course, international voltage is available for this particular drive. It has a plus 10 to minus 15% tolerance. It has 120 volt single phase, 200 to 240 volt one or three phase, 200 to 240 volt three phase, 480 volt three phase, and 480 to 600 volt three phase. Uh, global standards that it uh, qualifies for is UL, North America, CUL in Canada, CE Low Voltage Directive in Europe, and CE EMC Directive which, with an optional EMC filter. It also has uh, GOST, GOST certification for Russia, and CTIC for Australia. Now these drives are available in a wide array of horsepowers. As of right now, uh, you can get them all the way up to 25 horsepower. Now of course that's going to be for 480 volt three phase input. But remember that they're constantly building new ones, and obviously if you need anything larger than that, we do sell other drives. You don't have to buy the SM Vector. Um, the SM Vector is nice because it gives you this nice package that allows you to do open loop flux vector, speed or torque control, volts per hertz constant or variable, and enhanced volts per hertz mode with auto-tuning with this one package deal. And it's mostly comparable to prices that only run in like one mode you know it doesn't give you the option to run in multiple modes of course you have your terminal strip that's on here and it also has the options for communication modules everything ranging from Modbus to can open to profibus and it also has ethernet options and you can connect the communication module directly to the unit and you can talk to it over that 
Also, it has this option for this EPM module, which is a programmable module. And basically, you can buy a separate EPM programmer and you can uh, duplicate your drive program and then slip in the EPN module. It's a very useful tool if you have multiple drives on your line. We uh, use this feature quite a bit and we're very, very happy with it because what you do is you just have your programmer, your EPM programmer that stores your program for certain applications and then every time a drive goes bad or in the off chance it does go bad, you can just flash that EPM module, stick it in a new drive and then you're good to go. You can just plug it right back into your line, it'll be like a hot swap. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. The SM Vector is a very good product. If you have any additional questions, obviously call us. We always love when people call us. We'd rather talk to you about your applications. We are, at first and foremost, we're an engineering uh, department. Uh, we do all kinds of application engineering. Uh, we do panel shop building. I mean, we, we do a lot of industrial stuff. We, work, we have hundreds of customers. Um, feel free to call us anytime, 574-256-1000. And, of course, you can visit our website online at vfddistributing.com. And uh, if you want to watch any more of these videos, they're available at our VFD blog, and that's a link that's available at our website. Um, again, if you have any more questions, just let me know. And uh, thanks for stopping by.